Hi, and welcome to another episode of Pokemon Fake or Real. Now, um, today we're going to do something different. I bought two cards through Amazon, and they were approximately about the same price, about $20, $25 each box. Here's one. It's the um, Golden Groundhog. And these are essentially supposed to be mint condition Pokemon cards without the T TCG scan cards. And then we have the Pokemon trading card, 100 cards. Both of these I bought through the same place, um, not, not the same pe person, but uh, they were through Amazon. And so let's see what we get, okay? And let's see which one's real if, or if both of them are fake. So let's start with the Groundhog. Groundhog, I'm gonna pull out five cards, which are Pokemon cards. Not a lot of Pokemon cards, but some. So let's um. Take you where? Metapod, Kakuna, Pinsir, Met, and us uh, two. Because there's two metapods, isn't there? So let's take metapod. Oh, now I'm gonna be doing something to this, which will be very. Oh, actually, these are different metapods. So, Charmeleon. Okay, Charmeleon. This is actually a really cool Charmeleon. Okay, so this is for the golden groundhog. Now, golden groundhog. So let's look again and let's check. Are any of them over 90? No, are any of them over 250 HP? Nope, they are not. Okay. Now, <clears throat> Now, these ones are a touch different because each card comes from a different series. So it's going to have different kind of symbols for each of them. And the number for each, each individual card will be set in a different place. Along with the, uh, the name of the illustrator. So these ones. Okay, now let's take out the other cards. Five cards from here, just five random cards. Now these ones, you're going to see, are all, look at that, EX, GX, they're all full art cards. Beautiful, aren't, aren't they? Boy, um, let me just take out five random ones. Primal Kaigori, Mega Charizard, and this one's worth quite a bit if it's real. Lunana GX. And Blastoids. And Tauros. Tauros. Sorry. Tauros GX. For five cards and five cards. So. As you can see, these are just beautiful. Tauros. GX. Mega Blastoids. EX, Lunana, GX, 250 health, Mega Charizard, 220 health, Primal Kaigori EX, 240 health. None of them are over 250, so that's not the dead giveaway. Now, really the dead giveaway with these is, these are full art cards. I mean, they should be firm, super, super firm. But look at that. I mean, seriously, a full art card should never do that. Not that you would ever want to do that to a full art card, but it should never, ever do that. Same with all these other ones. So sad. So sad. Now, 
And then the golden groundhog ones. Let's see how how they are. You see that? They don't blend that. They they don't they don't bend that that much. They're not as flexible as even the full art cards in the other package. See that? Kakune, Kakuna, sorry. Metapod. Beware. Okay? Now, I'm going to go through my stack of authentic Pokemon cards and find one. Oh, it's so painful. But I'm going to rip, rip up a card for you so you can see what an authentic Pokemon card really feels like. And... So, let me ask my son which one is he approves. Tangela, is that okay? Okay, Tangela. We're going to use Tangela as our example rip-up card. I do like Tan Tangela, but um, I just wanted you to see. Okay, so here's Tangela. Here's... Toros GX. Now, before I, sorry, Tangila and Toros GX. Now, before I rip up the cards, I want to show you something in the back, right? Look at the back. Which one's real? Which one's fake? Now, again, the cards are almost identical to each other in color, except the fake one is actually more vibrant in its color. And sometimes that happens. That sometimes scans just scan darker, and then they put it on. Um, and so it really depends on how they scan it in. But if you look at the corner over here, right here, do you see that? It's blurred. An authentic Pokemon cards should never be blurred, ever. This one is clear throughout the card. Look at that. Draw it there, down to there, down to there, and right down and up there. It's completely clear, and it is, that car, that line is distinctive around there, it's not blurred, unlike this one, which is blurred. See that? If you look at it close to each other, I'll put it like that so that you, you can see. See that? You can see which one's blurred and which one's not. So this is the, the real card, and this is a fake card. So we're going to tear up this beautiful Tauros GX. And we're going to see what, what's inside, okay? Oh my. Here's your Tauros GX. Foil. A piece scanned onto a piece of foil and put onto a piece of cardboard, light white cardboard. And that's how you know if you rip it up, a real Pokemon card will never be just a piece of foil on top. Tangela, so very sorry, but I'm gonna have to rip you up, okay? Ouch. See that? It's white in the inside. It's super thick, right? It's thick. And if you can look closely, I'm not sure if you can see it, but you can see like a, a bit of a dark band along the bottom of this. And that's because Pokemon, to ensure that their cards are well made and not transparent when you when we reflect when you put it against super bright light, um, they put <coughs> dark bands inside of, of their cards so that it's never transparent. So this is Tangela, so sorry. Um, a real Pokemon card ripped in half and that's how it looks like. And this is a GX fake card ripped in half and that's how it looks like. Back foil, front, and just piece of garbage here. So I hope you, you learned something today. And if you want to see more of, of my videos, please subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to seeing you next time. And have a great day. Bye.